Hi everyone, Petal is blessed here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm coming on to share with you two more nice DIYs with using items from the dollar store and more. Okay, we have this container here and I'll be taping it off as you see with some painters tape and I'll be using some of this molding paste. So sorry, it's not really focusing, <laughs> but it's molding paste. We'll be using that to place all over our jar. So I'm just going to use this tool here and get the molding paste and start putting it all over our vase. So all we're doing is just applying the paste all over our vase. It's very easy to do. It's very nice because it will give our vase a nice textured look. Okay, now that we have the molding paste everywhere, I'm just gonna be using a regular comb <laughs> to add some streaks going down our vase. So we're just going down our vase, applying lines with the comb <laughs> to give it a nice textured look. And after each line, I just shake off the excess paste back into our molding paste jar. And if you're new here, I'd like to say welcome. <laughs> and I do hope you will consider hitting the subscribe button and hitting the bell so you get notified every time I upload another DIY to share. And I hope everyone gives me a thumbs up for today's video. And to my oldies and my goodies, thank you so much for coming on and seeing the video I have to share with you today. Okay, now we're done with adding our texture with the comb. So we're just gonna remove the painter's tape before the molding paste dries. And then I will set it aside to dry for a few hours. Okay, now our molding paste is all dry. <laughs> so we are going to use some of this white acrylic paint and just add the paint all over to our paste. Now I know you can add the paint to the paste before you even add it to the jar. But my dilemma with that is I don't want to overuse the product. Um, I'll have to mix a lot with the white and then I probably won't use all of it and I don't want to waste any. So I just add the molding paste. When it's dry, then I add whichever texture or whatever shade of paint I'd like to add to my decor. Okay, our paint is all dry now. So now we're gonna start to decorate our vase. <laughs> so I'll be using some of this rose gold mirrored tiles that I got from BB Craft. And I am just going to Cut it into strips, peel it back because it does come with a nice adhesive on the back and add it to our vase. Next, I'll be using some of this silver sheet here that I also got from BB Craft and just placing strips around the side of our mirrored tiles. And here is our glam vase for DIY number one. I love how it turned out. I think it looks lovely. All right, everyone, leave me your thoughts on DIY number one, a rose gold textured vase. <laughs> Just take a dollar store vase 
add some nice items to it and you have a lovely piece of home decor or a gift for a loved one leave your comments down below and tell me what you think all right everyone here's her items for diy number two okay we have these two plastic uh containers from the dollar tree <laughs> they're the hard plastic so i'm just going to use some white spray paint and i'll be taking it outside and just spray paint them and then i'll be back to show you the finished look okay here's how the first piece looks all spray painted and dried so now i'll be using some of our gold mirror tiles that i got from bb craft and decorate the bottom half of our vase so i cut it into strips and i am just going to add them to the bottom half of our vase because they come with a self-adhesive on the back okay here's how we're looking so far i think it looks very nice <laughs> so i'm going to use some of our gold spike yeah bling mm -hmm. <laughs> and i'll be using some hot glue and i'll be gluing it right around in between in between each mirrored tile and here is the other container that i spray painted white it looks very nice and I forgot to mention that I only spray painted the inside of both these vases. So now we're going to use some more of our gold spike bling. <laughs> and I'll be using some hot glue. <laughs> and I'm just going to um, find the center of our vase, which I did. So I fold it in half. I'm going to put some glue in the middle. Because I want it to be glued with a tip. With a... Oh gosh. Uh, what do you call it now? It's not going to be glued straight. It's going to be glued kind of slanted so that's why i glued the center first and then i can just elevate the sides to where i want them to go so now i'm going to add some more of our spike wrap going up so now I'm going to be adding some of our gold glam chain <laughs> and I'll be using some E6000 to add it going right around the top part of our container. So now we have our two pieces, so I'm just going to use some glue and glue them together. And here's our finished look for DIY number two. I love how the gold and the white look together, the mirrored tiles, and of course, our spike bling wrap, OMG, I love it in the gold color too. <laughs> the silver is nice, but it looks beautiful in the gold also. I like it, like I said, take simple bowls from the Dollar Tree, add some little items to it, and you have a lovely, lovely piece of decor for your home. <laughs> All right, everyone, tell me what you think of DIY number two. <laughs> I'd like to thank everyone once again for coming on and seeing today's DIYs. And if you're not subscribed, I do hope you will hit that subscribe button on your way out. And don't forget to press the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload another DIY to share. And once again, I hope everyone gives me a thumbs up for today's two DIYs. <laughs> And remember, as always, to stay blessed from Petal is Blessed, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.
And if he ain't claiming you, girl, you know you better give me.